بسم الله الرحمن الرحيم In the name of Allah the most gracious the most merciful الرحمن الرحيم الحمد لله رب العالمين والصلاة والسلام على أشرف الأنبياء والمرسلين نبينا محمد وعلى آله وصحبه والتابعين ومن تبعهم بإحسان إلى يوم الدين وبعد All praises due to Allah سبحانه وتعالى Blessings and salutations upon Muhammad صلى الله عليه وسلم We ask Allah سبحانه وتعالى to bless us all and to grant us goodness and ease and we ask Allah سبحانه وتعالى to open the doors of Jannah for all of us. Amen. My beloved brothers, the youth who are seated here this morning, currently we are facing many challenges in the Ummah, the greatest of which is the hatred that we have for one another. This is in contradiction to the teachings of Muhammad sallallahu alayhi wa sallam. We need to check our hearts because if we continue this way, the cancerous elements will result in that cancer spreading in a way that we will be destroyed within ourselves. No external enemy needs to try and ignite things. It's enough. Our hearts are so dirty, so dirty, that it's enough for us to tackle one another and destroy one another. So one of the biggest things you and I need to do is check your heart and remove the hatred for anyone who says the shahada, Ashhadu an la ilaha illallah wa ashhadu anna Muhammadan abduhu wa rasuluhu. If the person says that, remove hatred from your heart for that particular person. So much so that entire humanity are your brothers and sisters in humanity. That's what you need to understand. Your duty towards them is to spread the deen to them and goodness to them and it is not to harm them. This is a misconception that is spreading across the globe that if someone is not a Muslim, you're supposed to harm them. You're supposed to act bad to them. You are supposed to be hateful to them. No, you might not like the drinking of a drunkard, but you are supposed to have hope that he can quit that bad habit because we all have bad habits. So if we were to hate one another because of a bad habit, we would all be hating one another. And that's what's happening. So today a person picks on you because of your bad habit and you pick on them because of their bad habit and we are destroyed. Allahu Akbar. Everyone hates one another. Have you noticed? The intolerance in the ummah is at a peak. At a peak meaning we have so many groups in our midst. Each one is literally fighting the other. And this is terrible. When we hear people talking about others, we should understand that they have nothing themselves to present. So they are now speaking about other people. If you want to speak positive about others, Alhamdulillah, it's a lesson we can learn something good. The minute you want to start defaming and, you know, attacking and so on others, you are sowing the seeds of hatred in the ummah of Muhammad sallallahu alayhi wa sallam. If really you have a problem, you may discuss it on a high level. You may meet the brother or the sister or whoever you have to meet, discuss the matter. Ultimately, you may agree to disagree if it's not 